my beautiful boss slay mates it's me i can issue your favorite boutique consultant and as promised we are going to be talking about the markdown process and if you see some little toes and stuff right here as you can see you all's favorite baby is right there say hey girl <laughs> All right, so we are going to discuss the markdown process. So the question that I get a lot is, Nisha, when do I do markdowns? And there is no right or wrong answer, just like a few other things that I have been asked. There is no right or wrong answer. It really depends on your brand. So you have some boutiques or companies that don't do markdowns at all. You have um, kind of like, you know, like designer brands like Louis Vuitton, for example. I know they don't really do clearance sales, things like that. that um, so, you know, there are some companies that like that. You have some brands um, that do markdowns like every week. I worked for a company like that. That was annoying. Um, you have some boutiques actually who do markdowns every month. You have some boutiques that I know of that do some every other week. And then me personally, I do, yeah. I do markdowns um, at the end of every quarter. So I do one big markdown at the end of three months. A quarter is three months. So January, February, March, one quarter, April, May, June, July, August, September. What's that? September? October? <laughs> November, December, quarter four. <laughs> so actually I am in the process of doing a markdown now. So, um, I'm actually going to be going through that process with my members of Patreon. I'm going to either be doing a series of videos for them or I'm going to be doing just one big guide. It'll probably just be a series of videos um, because I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of typing. So if you are a member of Patreon, make sure you head over there. Um, I will say at the end of next week, those videos should be up of around, it may be one big video or two videos around my markdown process. So. Um, I also know that some people also do markdowns depending on an item's turn rate. So if you don't know what turn rate is, you need to learn boutique math and also the business basics. I have a class all around that called From Lost to Boss, Learning Boutique Basics. Click the link in my description box to see about that class. But some people do markdowns based off of a item's turn rate. So they will look at the item's turn rate and then they will figure out when they're going to do a markdown on that one particular item. They don't just do one at a certain time so once again it all depends on you and your brand how you want to run your business that is when you determine when you want to do a markdown so when you you know you're basically going to be creating your own strategy and schedule when it comes to your markdown process now you also need to know your numbers when it comes to doing a markdown and what i mean by that is when you get an item in um when you first, you know, get some type of inventory in where there's a bunch of it or one of it or whatever, and you're getting ready to price, then there is some uh, something that you need to keep in mind when it comes to that. Hello, my boss slaymates. I had to interrupt the video for a second to let you know that you can grab one of my online courses all around Instagram growth or about starting a boutique from A to Z for only $24.99. All of my courses are normally $99.99, so you need to act fast because the sale ends on the 31st. All right, let's get back to the video. You need to think about your strategy of marking down items when it comes to your pricing. Now, we already have our own pricing formulas, I know that, but when you are creating your pricing formula, you need to think about when you're gonna be marking down products. So, for example, because I know this kind of sounds confusing. For example, let's say you get a new item. Let's say you get this shirt, which you know is available on my website. Well, actually it's sold out, but if you want one, just let me know. It says thou shall get her own money goes 24 sale. Yes. So anyway, what? You wanna get up? You're being nosy. You want your bottle? <laughs> Y'all see how he is? He's so nosy. You want to get up, don't you? <laughs> so anyway, what I mean by that is, let's say you get an item in and it's time for you to price it. Now, when you are pricing it, of course, you are going to be doing your normal pricing formula. But you need to be thinking about your markdown strategy. So if you are someone, oh, no, Cairo, we cannot be pulling on the wig, honey. No, sir. So if you are someone that will do like 
a three part markdown. You know, some people would do like 30% off and then they'll make it 40% off and then they'll make it 50% off or a final markdown, something like that, like three parts. If you're someone who does something like that, think about that when it comes time for your pricing. You need to price up high enough so that way when you start to do your markdowns, your 30 or 40 or 50, 75, 60, whatever it is, you still have enough room to make a little bit of money off of that markdown. Because, you know, when it starts to, when it comes to reducing prices, obviously, you're going to start losing money and you don't want to start losing money. So you need to make sure that from the jump, you are pricing it so that when you do discounts, um, discount codes to people when you do markdowns that you still have enough cushion to get a little bit of profit out of that markdown even if it's just three four dollars you need to price it somewhere so that you get some sort of profit and speaking of that don't rely on markdowns when you can't get rid of inventory let's say you had something for like four weeks and it hasn't sold don't just immediately think you got to do a mark now. There are other things you can do to get rid of old inventory. You need to exhaust all options before you start reducing prices and losing money. And if you need some tips on ways you can get rid of old inventory, of course, I have a video all about that. How did you know? Make sure you click a link down in the description box and see, I think I gave about four tips, I think, on some ways that... I get rid of old inventory so make sure you all click that link in the description box and um, check out that video all about that so what you have heard is that when it comes to your markdown process you need to create your own schedule and strategy you need to remember um, your pricing formula and your markdown schedule when you are pricing and you need to not rely on markdowns so that is the markdown process in a nutshell but if you are a member of patreon of my Patreon, you will get to see a little bit more in depth with my markdown process and what I do so you can get a little bit of inspiration for that. If you are not a member of my Patreon, click down there, become a member of my membership club. $40 members get a ton of stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't wanna waste y'all's time. You can read up all about it in the description box, okay? So next video, next two videos actually, we are going to be talking about money because I have gotten a lot of different questions Kind of circulating around the subject of money so the very next video we are going to be talking about how you can be smart with your money i want y'all to stop spending all y'all's money okay <laughs> so we're going to discuss that so very next video we're going to talk about ways you can stop spending your money and how you can use it not just smart but we'll we'll talk about it we'll talk about it so make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when i do post that video make sure you like share and if you have not already subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and subscribe and do that for me and i will see you all in the next video bye guys <laughs>